Hiya, and thanks for tuning in to this uh, short little video. This is uh, a short video on the MP3 uh, SD USB adapter for the RX-8. Uh, as many people know, you can put a USB and play MP3s through the uh, standard stereo, but only certain ones work with it. Uh, formerly being the Connect 2, seems to be the most popular one, uh, but I decided to take a chance and buy an alternative one in from uh, China. Uh, around about half the price, just to see if this thing would work just as well as the uh, Connect 2 does. Well, at first of all, let's have a look at the unit itself. Well, this is the actual unit by a company called Wikitech. Uh, as you can see, I'm using it with uh, USB. The top comes with detachable serial lead, unlike the Connect 2, which is pre-wired, hard-wired in. This means you can untake it or undo it, take it off, uh, and do whatever you want with it. Take it upstairs and play around with it. Up to you. There you can see you've got an SD slot there and an auxiliary slot there, which will go into uh, an iPhone or some sort of phone or MP3 player uh, and work from there. The unit is very, very similar to the uh, Connect 2. Uh, the lead plugs in the back of the radio, as it does with any of them. Uh, and contrary to what people say, you've got to take the whole radio out to, to get to it. Uh, total rubbish. You can get to it, just remove the glove compartment and put your hand through the back, feel for the aerial wire, and the small plug is to the to the left of the aerial wire, and the bottom uh, locking pin or locking latch of the lead on the end of this goes to the bottom. It will only go in one way. Uh, it literally took me five minutes to put it in, and it was so, so easy. So what's my opinion? Does this thing work? Is it a load of rubbish, uh, or what? Uh, no, it's not rubbish. It is really good. The sound quality is excellent. I've not heard of Connect 2, uh, but this one is really, really good. Uh, it works in a similar sort of way Connect 2. You have just format your USB key, uh, put in six folders, name this folders CDs 1 to 6, and then put up to 99 tracks in each folder. Uh, I would say, though, that I don't know if it's the same with Connect 2 or not, but this one, you have a maximum of 4 gig on the key. If you try and put anything bigger than a 4 gig into this, uh, it just rejects it. It just goes particularly bananas and just doesn't know what to do. Uh, I found that by trial and error. All, all, all being saying that, a 4 gig key, which is in it now, I've got probably the best part of four or 500 tunes on there, uh, and I've still got plenty of room for more anyway. Uh, as you can see, I've got mine into the glove compartment. I've not hardwired it in, it's just literally goes in there as in such like that you also get uh, an additional lead which is this one which is for a headphone jack for from a phone or etc etc i have tried it with my phone i've got a samsung galaxy s3 and it does work through this and uh, it does work through uh, my partner's phone and she's got an iphone 4 and that works through it as well so you can use it on an iphone 4 as well as uh, a normal phone so there you go. So I'm my interest in the glove compartment. I'm going to do a hard fixture later. Uh, probably going to move the actual unit, extend the cable, uh, and pull it into into there where most people put them, uh, and add the USB key probably somewhere just inside here, so I can get easy access to it. So how does this unit work? Does it work? Does it not work? Well, <laughs> when I first got it, it was quite strange. As I said, I put an eight gig uh, USB key in, and it just went particularly bananas. Didn't want to do anything. I just couldn't work it out why uh, everything I put on the key changed different keys, but I didn't have any anything less than 8 gig, hence the reason why I was having problems. Uh, you can also put, and I've tried it as well, uh, put an 8 gig or less, which are hard to find, SSD uh, card, solid state, solid state disk, like the ones I use in the computers now. If you can get an 8 gig one or less, uh, I used a 4 gig, and that worked quite well. Uh, but it's just adding more and more stuff to it. But to be honest, the USB key works fine for me. I did try it with an SD card as well, and yes, that does work. The only problem being, if you've got an SD card in and the USB card in, you will have conflict between the two. So, how does this thing work? Basically, is that the same way as Connect 2? Turn your uh, ignition on 2. Uh, your normal display comes up on your radio. Just select from uh, CD and tape mini disc press your CD, press it a second time, and up on the display will show EX. EX will come up as external. Once that comes up, you're away. For the first couple of seconds, it will just do all funny things. Numbers coming up, 
you just won't understand what's going on. Basically, what it's doing is going through the whole of the uh, USB key to determine its tracks and its listings for the actual playing. Now, when you turn it on and it actually runs up, you won't get no names or titles. You'll just get a folder number and a track number. Now, you can move up and down the tracks by your normal five and six. That will move between the tracks. And disk A and disk B, so on, up and down, these two will move you between your folders. Now, if you don't have folders and just throw the whole lot into one, this thing gets confused, doesn't know what to do. So you do have to put folders in there. Even if you just put one folder only and put everything in one folder, no problem. I actually put six folders and actually got different stuff in different folders. So folder one we might have hip-hop in it, folder two might have slow, mellow stuff, uh, folder three, rock and so on. That way you know what's in what folder. You just can't, the only thing you can't do, you can't jump 20 or 30 tracks ahead. Also, when you're listening to this, if you're in uh, folder one, when you get to the end of folder one, it will automatically go to folder two and carry on playing. If, however, you're on the last track of folder one and you press the next button to go to the next track, it won't find the next track and it won't find the next folder. It just keep going on and on and on until it gets to 99. Then it goes to the next folder. So all you've got to do is press your disc up, go to folder two and away you go. Anyway... Enough of me blabbering on. I'll turn it on. You'll see what comes up on the display. Uh, as I say, it only lasts for a few seconds. Then once it sets itself in, everything seems to work okay. So, turn this on too. And we'll see what comes up. This is what comes up. As you can see, it says 5-1. That's just scanning. So there you can see that oh, from that display, I'm actually in uh, folder three. This is my rock folder. I'm on track one and it's showing the time. Now, uh, just by want to go to the next track, up or down, I can either press here or obviously you press on your remotes here. Now, if I press on the remotes here, you'll see me press and it will change straight to two. Now, because it skipped track two, and the reason I've done that is for a simple reason. Track two is not an MP3 format. Track two is actually in an MP4 format. This system will not read it. It'll only read MP3s. And I only found that out by mistake as well. So there you can see, folder three, track three. Press it again. Folder three, go to track four. And away we go again. Go down to here. And go up a... Another folder, you'll see the folder change. It goes to folder four. And we're into another track. As far as sound quality goes, can't fault it. Absolutely stunning. Uh, much, much better than uh, standard head unit, radio or CD. Me, I'll personally rather use this than use a CD. Makes it a lot easier. But as that, the personal choice. As for cost, well, you're going to pay £60, £65 for the Connect 2. Uh, this one you can find these on uh, eBay. I paid uh, 39, I think it's 39 pound 45 for mine. That was including postage from the states. So cheap enough. It was worth a gamble. It works. I'm happy with it. Uh, hope you've enjoyed the the small little demo. And I hope you go across and uh, go to eBay and buy yourself one and pull it in. Thanks for watching.